Oh hi, thanks for watching my video. So, for today I have the start of what I imagine will be a full let's play. I want to find out how difficult is it really to raise 10 children. And when I say raise, I mean, you know, all the proper parenting stuff, teaching them everything, yeah. mainly for toddlers, you know, toddlers <laughs> learning how to talk, build up their skills, all of that. How difficult is it really? You know, because 10 sounds like a lot, doesn't it? But I think I've got just the right couple. This here is Claire. Arlo. Yeah. She's married to this guy, Austin. They live on a property kind of in like the farmlands. They're here for a simple life. You know, they just want the simple things. Austin's going to be involved in gardening. He's actually going to have a gardening career. And Claire's going to be a devoted mother because they're pretty old fashioned, I guess. I think we should probably start by trying for a pregnancy. I mean, currently we have no babies and we need to end up with 10. I do have the lot rate that helps with having more than one baby. Twins are born here more often than not. I kind of wish there was one of those for triplets, but if we get pregnant with twins every time, that's only five pregnancies. We've got the parents' bedroom right here. This room, which will be the baby room. When the babies are old enough, they'll move on to the infant room. This will probably be some kind of chill child room. It's quite a small house, really, when you think about it, for 12 people to live in. But they both just want a big, happy, successful family, you know? They want 10 kids with A grades at school. They want 10 teenagers getting ready to enrol in university. So that's the plan, really, for this Let's Play. Nothing too special, just simple family life with way too many children. Okay, so Claire's going to take a pregnancy test. Austin, I think you should probably get a job. We're going to need some kind of income here. Claire is pregnant. Great. How many is she pregnant with? That's what I want to know. Please be at least two. Oh, yes! One male and two female babies! Triplets on the first go! Okay, this is good. This is really good. Right, we're going to go for the gardener career because I think that fits in with our lifestyle pretty well. So, Austin, we're in between Claire, you know, raising the children, we're also going to have Austin try as hard as he can to get fairly high up in his career. I mean, I imagine by the end of this Let's Play, he'll be like top dog. It looks like he's missing a tooth from afar. All right, let's open some seed packets. We've got a little bit of work on gardening to do while we wait for Claire to have her babies. Oh, you know what else? You know what else I'm gonna do? I'm gonna add great soil as well. There we go, make the most of these. Someone commented on one of my videos a, a while back, in fairness, being like, oh, you never use the lot traits. And it's true, I never do. So hopefully if that person is watching, you'll see that I have learned from that comment. Take feedback on board. Right, what are we in? Oh, it's a really awkward time of the year because we're in fall, but we're towards the end of it. I mean, really, I kind of want to plant stuff that sprouts in both fall and winter. I mean, apple is full, but you know what? We'll just plant a few apple trees, some mushrooms. I mean, so far I'm only planting things that grow in full, which isn't ideal. Okay, well, spinach grows in winter, so we'll get a head start on planting some winter stuff. And that's it. That's literally all I have that grows in winter. All right, well, Austin, get planting. They even dress like farmers. Look, they got the whole package. And then while he's doing that, Claire... I will get you to... We're going to serve up a few salads to build up your cooking skill. We don't need any fires in the farmhouse, okay? This is an old house. It's made of wood. Let's just get you to grasp the basics. See, this is my favourite part of the Let's Play. The beginning. Before there are any children, it's all peaceful. It's quiet. I only have to worry about two sims. I've got the luxury of working on a career. Because I already know for a fact, once we get, like, four babies in, I'm going to forget Austin exists. He's just going to be left to his own devices, pretty much. Already excellent performance. I wonder if that means once he gets to level two of the gardening skill, he'll automatically get a promotion. That happened last time when I did the treehouse video. Oh, those salads look great. Just pop them away there. Almost at cooking level three. So productive, these first few days of pregnancy. Well, first pregnancy. I am kind of dreading the infant life stage, though. I sort of, you know, rightly or wrongly, kind of wish 
that I did this before the infants update because <laughs> I really don't like them. All right, first day, successful. Pregnant with triplets, let's get some sleep. We don't really have much to do because right now we're just waiting for the babies to be born and Austin doesn't even have work for like two days. Everyone's hungry though, so Claire, go and make some scrambled eggs and bacon. We'll pretend that you got it from chickens and pigs from your own farm. We'll just play pretend. I was tempted to also get farm animals, but I think that might have been a bit too much. Why are you crying if you're sad now? You have the easiest life right now. Oh, we already have harvestables. Okay, harvest everything you can. Fuck off, welcome wagon, not today. I've got enough on my plate without having to deal with your shit. Okay, Austin, I'm just gonna get you to research all of these. Just try and work on your gardening skill a little bit. Because I imagine once the babies are born, I will not have time to give you any attention at all. And then again, I'm just gonna have her serve up several meals. Just to build up that cooking skill. Oh, excellent quality. The end of another very easy day. Oh, I'm really enjoying this piece, you know. I do think what I might do, though, to speed things up a little bit is once she gets into her third trimester, I'm just going to put her into labour. Austin starts work today. She's not going to have anything around the house to do. May as well give her some babies. Self-assured? Yeah, all right, fine. Oh, we've been promoted. Wait, wait, let me see. He's a soil sifter now. What do we have to do? Harvest harvestables. Oh, is there anything I can harvest right now before work? Yes. Okay, quickly, Austin, go and harvest some stuff before you go to work. Task complete. All right, we've already got a head start on our next promotion. Okay, Austin's gone to work. Okay, we're in our third trimester, Claire. You know what that means. Let's just put her in labor. It's a good thing I already had three bassinets. We'll have the babies, and then as soon as Austin gets home, we'll put some more. Put some more. We'll make some more. Okay, baby boy, we will call him Edwin. A girl will go Sophie, and another girl, Erica. Oh, and they're all screaming. Also, um, I have noticed that the babies change colour when they're in the bassinet compared to when they're picked up. I actually think it might be something to do with this, because this bassinet is custom content. I think it might be because of that. Okay, I think Erica's a bit hungry, so let's just calm down, keep it calm. Is it calm? Are we cool, Erica? We cool? We good? She's pretty good at taking care of the babies herself, to be honest. As soon as they start crying, she just goes over and she seems to know better than I do what the babies want. So I'm just going to let you take the lead here, Claire. You seem to know what you're doing. Oh, Austin's home. Okay, we know what that means. Try for a new pirate with Claire. He didn't even say hello to his kids. <laughs> oh, I forgot I'm going to need a trash can in here now. All right, Claire, let's take a pregnancy test, see what the situation is. Yes, there's going to be a new addition to the family. Right, I'll let her clean up the baby room because it's a bit messy. What are we working with here? What's this pregnancy going to be? One male, one female. Okay, so we didn't get triplets again, but you can't win them all. That's fine. I just wanted to have as many as possible with every pregnancy because I want the 10 kids to be, you know, similar in age. I don't want a big age gap. How was your day, Austin? You have a good one? Well, you must have been working pretty hard because you stink. Oh. Oh, ho, ho. I can evolve them? Well, I don't have anything I can harvest just yet. So we'll probably have to do our daily task in the morning. But that's fine. I'm not worried. Pretty certain we're going to get a promotion tomorrow anyway. Hey, why are you just sat there where the babies are crying? You can grab some leftovers. And then we'll change this one's diaper. Hopefully it goes to bed soon. And then go to sleep. Oh, they're all sleeping. Oh, everyone's sleeping. Finally, a bit of peace. Oh, well, that didn't last long. It's Edwin's birthday. The time does fly, doesn't it? So I'm playing on the short lifespan. So I think the babies, their natural life stage is like half a day, I think. Do we have anything to harvest now? Oh, no. It's because we're in winter now, isn't it? Ah, oh, daily task isn't going to be complete anytime soon. Maybe you should try and get some sleep, Claire. She's going to pass out any minute now. Okay, another five minutes of peace. This farmhouse is getting trashed. The baby noise is so annoying, especially on uh, fast speed. All right, Claire, I'm sorry. You're going to have to get up now. I know you don't want to. Grab yourself some leftovers. I knew pre-cooking all those meals was a good idea. Okay. 
Okay, just a little bit of fucking peace. Oh, I almost feel like ever since the toddler update, whenever I play with families, which is all the time, that's pretty much the only way I play off camera anyway, I find myself now playing through like babies and stuff with like the light at the end of the tunnel in mind, you know, like when they become children or even toddlers actually, toddlers and up. Oh, you're back already and you've got a promotion. Yeah, don't worry about the kids, Austin. You worked really hard today. Treat yourself to a shit, little bit of dinner, and a good night's rest. Oh, he still needs another... He needs level four of the gardening skill. Right, let's um purchase some seeds. Hopefully we get something that can grow in winter. Parenting level five. That's how you fast track your parenting. She's been a parent for two days. She's parenting level five already. Even Austin is parenting level three. And he was meant to be a hands-off dad. The state of this room. What the fuck is Lazy Bollocks up to? Okay, she is eating. Fine. She's a bit tired as well. Well, maybe you should just go get some rest. Don't worry, guys. I know one of the babies is crying, but just sleep through it, all right? Fuck these kids. Oh, they're all aging up into infants now. <laughs> okay, Erica. What are the easiest ones? Cautious. That can't be too difficult. Sophie. Calm. And then Edwin, um, Sunny. Oh, they do look cute as they're floating around on there. How are all our needs? All good? Yes, I think they always age up with full needs. Right, I think enough is enough. Let's just get a trash can. This trash can's going to be overflowing by the time I put even half the stuff in this room on there. In there. What? Why did you pee yourself when you were... D oh, God damn it, Claire. Okay, I think that trash can's pretty full now. Okay, and Claire, you can grab some leftovers. How far along are you in your pregnancy? Second trimester, okay. So we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna have the babies once we get to our third trimester. So we've got about a day. How long is the infant life stage on short lifespan? Two days, okay, okay. I can handle two days. What that does mean, though, is probably there'll be a period of time where we have five infants at one time, but but that will only be for, like, a day. Right, Austin's needs are perfectly fine. He does have work today. He doesn't have the gardening skill he needs, but what he can do... I've just got a load of winter plants. So we can plant some of these, and that should hopefully... Get us the gardening skill we need before we have to go to work. Don't you worry about the kids, Austin, all right? Don't you worry about a thing. Claire's gonna take care of that. Oh, we got some onions over here. Oh, we got some potatoes. Ooh. Okay, we have got a load of winter plants out here. And then when he gets back from work today, we'll uproot all of the full plants and replace them with winter ones. And you should get your... Your skill point in no time. Oh wait, he's got two days before he has to go to work. Oh, well then, in that case, I'm gonna have you uproot all of these plants. Because we don't need them anymore. How are the babies? The babies are all fine. If anything, they kind of wish they had a nap. So Claire, once you finish cleaning up the plates, we'll just put each infant to bed. Oh yeah, also probably empty the trash. Yeah, when it comes to infants, I'm not too bothered about their milestones or anything like that. I'm gonna level with you guys. When it comes to infants, I just want to get through it. You know, just get through it and then enjoy them when they're toddlers. Okay, all the babies are being put to bed. I see you're brewing a shit there, so go and use the toilet. And then we'll see if they need anything. Looks like they're all getting a little bit peckish. But that's fine, that's fine. Once we get done on the throne, we'll wake them each up. And we'll give them a little bit of tit, and then we'll put them back down. Ten hours before we have the next round of kids. That means that Austin will have even more children on the way. Like, she'll be pregnant again by the time he actually goes to work. Alright, so, feed this one. Okay, this baby's being fed. He's gonna start getting tired as well, so we'll pop him back. Wait, which one is this? Edwin? Yeah, we'll pop Edwin back when we finish his feed. Then we'll wake up little Erica, look. This is quite, it's still quite peaceful and quiet. No, I'm surprised. Okay, feed Erica. All right, all right, shut up. Feed Erica. 
Maybe if we speak in hushed tones, the babies will know that noise is not going to be tolerated in this house, okay, Erica? So fall in line, all right? Don't be such a twat. Okay. So Erica's needs are pretty full. I'm going to put her back to bed anyway. This one, though, Sophie, she's shut her pants and she's hungry. So we will wake up Sophie. Oh, she's such a good mum, isn't she? She's just naturally a really good mum. All right, Sophie, it's boob time. Hope we can try and get her fed quickly because I can see that Claire is pretty hungry as well now while Austin's over there having a great time. Austin, don't you have some, like, gardening to do? Right, water all of these. And then you can start uprooting these to make space for even more winter plants. And then we're going to change Sophie's diaper once she's finished eating. Don't put her back in the oh, crib before you change her diaper, because that would be stupid, wouldn't it, Claire? Aww. So we'll change Sophie's diaper, and then I think she's fine. She'll be able to go back to bed. And, I mean, everyone else. So far, so good. Everyone's happy. Ha! Huh. See, I thought I was punishing this couple by giving them ten children, but I genuinely think Claire is, like, properly in her element right now. She just seems so happy. All right, Claire, we'll go grab yourself some leftovers, girl. Get some leftovers and get some sleep. We've got some bills, so once you finish gardening... Oh, no, you don't have to water those. We're going to uproot those. Once you finish gardening, we'll pay the bills as well. Everyone's so happy. How long do we have before the next... Okay, seven hours before we have the babies. I want to try and do this without hiring a nanny or something, but... Okay, Claire, you go to sleep, girl. You relax yourself. The infants are all fine. Oh, yeah, they're all fine. No, don't go and disturb the infants. Get back out here, Austin. Oh, it's so peaceful. Can we harvest from this? I think we can. Yeah, harvest spinach, and then that will go towards our daily task. Oh, look at that. All those Zs in the air. Okay, Austin's going to be watering all the plants. Guessing you've done your daily task. Yep, yeah, complete. Great. She's still sleeping. I think you should probably wake up now, though, Claire. Go and use the bathroom. If I keep Claire happy, it'll be easier to manage the infants. No, go to the toilet. Take care of your own needs first. Okay, it looks like this one, Edwin, is the only one who has a problem. So, we'll just come, quietly wake him up, we'll feed him, then we'll change his diaper, and then we'll put him back oh, to sleep. Simple. Okay, okay. So Edwin should be pretty much all in the green other than sleep. Right, Edwin's fine, he just has to fall asleep. What about Sophie? Okay, she's getting hungry, but she's only just woken up, so she's back of the queue. Erica's been waiting longer than Sophie has, so you know what, Erica? Have some tit. Feed. Breastfeed. Erica also needs a diaper change. In fact, you know what, Austin, if you want to make yourself useful, maybe you could feed this one, if you really want to help. Okay, Sophie's fine. Edwin's crying. I don't know why, because he's fucking fine. Go to sleep, Edwin. Go night-night. Hush up. Okay, perfect. Needs are all in the green. All right, Austin, you've done about all you can do. Go and take a shit and get some sleep. This one just needs some food and some fun. Oh, they all have the well-looked-after mood buff. Oh, that makes me so happy. I never thought I'd get that mood buff with triplets. Let's get some leftovers. And we'll watch some TV. When you have your twins, though, Claire, shit really is going to hit the fan. I'm sorry. Oh, shit, she's in her third trimester already. Well, I'll tell you what, I will let you have your food and your fun, and then we'll go into labour. All right, cool, we're all in the green. Oh, Claire, I'm sorry. I am sorry about this. In labour, go and have baby number four and five. We'll have them, we'll feed them, we'll go and make the next round. Baby girl, we'll go for Polly. Be interesting to see what the gender split is with ten children. And uh, we'll go for Peter. Because right now it looks pretty girl heavy, doesn't it? Okay, okay. Babies are usually hungry when they're born. So let's just get them both fed. And then we'll go and make some more. Right, Austin, you might have to wake up for a sec. Just so we can um, make some more babes. Maybe grab a quick snack. And then we'll go try for a pregnancy. Well, Austin, this has been fun. Let's make some more. 
Just ignore the sounds of screams. What's your fucking problem? Oh, nothing. Nothing is your problem. Go to sleep. God, kids. Okay, take a pregnancy test. And then you can finally go to sleep. Austin, you're tired as well. Go get some sleep as well. Claire is pregnant. All right, what's the deal this time? Please be more than one. Okay, two boys. Okay, okay, twins. Fine, fine, that is fine. When have you next got work, Austin? Nine hours. Okay, get some sleep. Get your head down, son. Because we need you to get promotions as well so we can support this family. This growing family. All right, good night, everyone. I said good night. Okay, quick toddler needs check. All green. Pretty much all green. Bit hungry. Okay, so... These two both need diaper changes. So, Claire, you can change their diapers. And then I think I'm going to wake you up now, Austin, because some of the infants are getting a bit hungry. So this one, Austin, come and wake her up. Or him. That's Edwin, that's the boy. Come wake up Edwin, and then we'll give him some food. I think, actually, they're all starting to get a bit hungry now. This one's pretty clean. Does this one have a dirty nappy? No, this one's pretty clean as well. Okay. So once you finish feeding that one, put it back into bed. And then we'll go ahead and feed this one. How's the baby care coming along? Okay, good. We've got some quiet babies. So maybe you can come and help out with the infants now, Claire. We've got to wake up this one. She needs some food and a fresh diaper. Oh, I'm really starting to get the hang of this, you know. No, I didn't say that one. This one. This one, Claire. Austin's already taking care of this one. Okay. Okay. Oh, I'm so impressed with how well these, these guys are getting on. Like, they're doing so great as parents. You know, they're just getting on with it. Okay, this one is still quite tired. So, you know what? We need to put that one back into bed. That one needs to go back to sleep. Okay, good job. So now, Austin, you don't really have any parenting to do right now, so you can go and take a bath. There's a lot of micromanagement here, but you know what? I don't mind it. This is going a lot smoother than I thought it would be. I thought I'd be pulling my hair out at this point, but no. Pretty smooth. I mean, granted, we do only have half the amount of children we're going to end up with, but once these three become children, it'll be even easier because they'll be able to help out even more. Okay, so then we can put Sophie to sleep down here. So all of the infants, okay, yeah, they're all taken care of, they're all fine, they can all be left for a few hours. How are the babies? Pretty calm, pretty calm, which means, Claire, you've afforded yourself a nap. Claire, will you put the baby away, please? Put the fucking baby away, please? Yeah, go and take a little nap, Claire. Oh, actually, no, just kidding. This baby's crying. I don't know what's wrong with it, so you're going to have to come and take a look. Maybe they're hungry. Claire, will you just feed it already? All right, I think Austin's going to take over some of the parenting now. Claire needs her rest because she's going to be left alone with these terrors all day. Oh, this one needs a nappy change, Austin. Austin, whenever you're ready, mate. Austin, you're doing the infants right now, okay? Claire's doing babies. You're doing infants. Infant needs still good. Yeah, they're all really happy. The babies, on the other hand, they're having a right mare. Claire has reached level six of the parenting skill. Okay, all of the infants have just one day before they become toddlers. Wait, hold on, Claire. I think you better change that one. Change Erica's diaper, because she's looking a bit stinky. It's Polly's birthday and Peter's birthday. Well, let's see if we can drag out the babies aging up for another day. Oh, Austin's already gone to work. I didn't even say bye. Yeah, hopefully we can put off the babies aging up for another day so that we'll have three toddlers and two infants. Aww. I'd rather that than five infants. All right, guys, we all good? We all good? This one's a bit hungry. All right, Edwin, chill out, chill out. Don't get your diaper in a twist. Calm it down. Oh, Edwin also needs to go to sleep. So we'll put Edwin to sleep once we've fed him. I don't know what this one's crying about, but I'm sure you'll figure it out there, Claire. Okay, I think everyone's fairly happy, so you can kind of take care of yourself for a little bit. Oh, Austin's home. How's it looking? Looking like we probably will get a promotion soon. Right, do we have anything we can harvest? Yes, I think we do. 
Loads of harvestables. Look at all those potatoes, all those onions. Oh, what is your problem now? Okay, everyone's asleep. The babies are obviously doing fine. This kid's hungry again. Oh, no, the baby started crying again for some reason. All right, hold on, Edwin. We'll come feed you. How are you all so hungry again so quickly? Right, we'll give Sophie some food. Put her back in the crib. And then we'll feed this one as well. Oh, Austin, what part of that is confusing? If you are... If you need to go to the bathroom to the point where you can't do anything, then put just put the baby down. Claire can handle it. Tell you what, Austin, don't try and help. You just kind of make the situation worse. Just go into the baby room. No. Put the baby down. Go into the baby room. Put that one to bed. Wake this one up. Change Edwin's diaper. Babies are kicking off. They're still not happy about something. Right, everyone just go to bed. Ignore the crying baby. If it's urgent, we'll get a pop-up. We'll get a warning that it's going to be taken away. So don't lose any sleep over it. Just take care of yourselves. Oh, do we finally have everyone sleeping? Almost, except this one, Peter. Okay, we've got about a day before the next round of babies are born. How long do we have before the infants become toddlers? Oh, less than a day. Okay, they're going to age up real soon. Let's get some toddler beds. So it's still going to be a while yet before we have any children. So I'm just going to make this the toddler room. Put three beds in there. Little toy box. And then maybe I'll just scatter a few little toys on the floor like so. Right, I think we should probably start aging up. Because I want to try and teach these, these babies something. Edwin has learned a bonus trait. Oh, I hope it's a good one. Oh, I'm pretty sure I was good at keeping them all happy. Yeah, top-notch infant. Yeah. Good for you, Edwin. Right, while the dad is here, we're going to teach Edwin to talk. No, I didn't say attend to the babies. I said teach Edwin to talk. The dad's here. He can look after the babies for a little bit. Uh, yeah, I would say... They have a strict family dynamic. We're raising 10 kids. We don't have time for their shit. I would ideally like each toddler to have at least two or three skill points in each area. Have fun at work, Austin. Austin, go to work. Leave the babies. They're fine. Oh, shit. The babies have just turned into infants. Okay, well then in that case, I'm going to go age the other babies up. Oh, damn it, Austin. Go to work. Fuck, what is his problem? You're supposed to be getting a promotion. You're over an hour late because you keep going to the toddlers. Go to work. Go, go. Okay, he's finally at work. And then we'll age up little Erica. You guys have had a great infancy. It's time to be toddlers now. I love Erica's look. The glasses, the mullet, everything about it. Okay, put infant to bed. Peter... Put infant to bed. Polly. They've just become infants, so their needs are pretty good. And then once the infants are in bed, we're going to go one by one, potty train each of these kids. They already got the top-notch infant. I, I want them all to grow up now with the top-notch toddler trait as well. Oh, wow. Claire, you're really growing out that hair, huh? Okay, toddler butt number two being potty trained. The infants are still fine. Okay, okay. Okay, one more toddler to potty train. And then we've at least make, made an attempt to potty train all three of them. Oh, did we get another promotion? Yes, leaf cutter. All right, well done, Austin. What are the requirements now? Level five gardening skill. Well, then go around and harvest all. And maybe you'll up a skill point doing that. I think the infants are starting to get hungry now, so we'll do the rounds. We'll just feed them both. And then their needs should be fine again. Oh, he's gardening level four, but so close to level five. Why don't you um, research some of these plants? At least he's done his daily task. And then if you water them all, you should definitely get to skill level five. Okay, what's the situation then? All the infants are happy. She's happy. Nina. This one's happy. Well, both the infants are fine, so I think we should serve dinner. That way all of the toddlers can eat as well. Just do a meat casserole. I 
I think all of the toddlers, okay, they're all hungry. They're all tired. So we'll just try and get them fed and then put to bed. Right, okay, let's just get all of the kids to grab a serving. Let's just get them all eating. Did you get to your level five yet? Yes, you have. Okay, perfect. So in that case, you could take a shit, you can grab a serving too. All right, cool. Everyone's eating. We've got two... Oh, we've got less than an hour now before the other babies are born. So let's just send these babies to bed now. Right, good night, kids. And then, Claire, we're going to pop you in labour, pop these two kids out, and then we'll make some more. Go and have your babies, girl. Why are all the kids so pissed off? Oh, because they're tired. Right. Well, you're all in bed, aren't you? So that'll be seven children now. Jimmy and Joseph. And then we'll go ahead, quickly feed these babies. Oh, they came out crying. Isn't that just the worst? Right, we'll feed them both. Then we'll try for a pregnancy. <laughs> all right, all right. I don't know why those infants are crying. They are fine. Oh, right, because they need a diaper change. Oh, well, guys, you know, get in line. All right, so many priorities. Let's go take a pregnancy test. Wait for the good news. Claire is pregnant. This time she gave a big sigh. Three girls. Well, there you go. We already have seven. So that means this will be our last pregnancy. So I've got pretty much what I wanted. They'll all be really close together in age. You know what, though? On that note, I think I'm going to end this part here. There'll be a part two probably same time next week. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like and subscribe. You know I love it when you do that. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.